Hello, I'm Paul Angelico, Commissioner of the Colorado High School Activities Association, and we need to talk. The high school sports are many things to many people, but from over 40 years experience in athletics, it's become apparent to me that it is imperative that we parents, school boards, coaches, community members, administrators, and students all understand the real purpose of athletics and activities and what they are designed to accomplish. The value of athletics and activities lies in the simple fact that they are a privilege to be earned. They are not an entitlement. They hold great value to each of us. But what is that value? CHASA, the Denver Broncos, and the NFL have joined forces to bring the Inside Out Initiative to Colorado. In simple terms, its intent is to transform the current win-at-all-costs sports culture where the value is only defined by the outcome on the scoreboard and the win-loss record to a culture that defines and promotes sports as a human growth experience that focuses on the intentional development of the educational, social, and emotional well-being of each student athlete. We have to ask ourselves, what is the purpose of high school sports beyond the limiting nature of wins, losses, and something for our children to do? What is the purpose of high school sports and activities? The answers lie in this video. Make no mistake, purpose applies to officials, administrators, parents, players, and coaches. This purpose reflects our community, school, and district values. Let's hear more about this Inside Out initiative and how it promotes important values for all of us. Somewhere in the last 15, 20 years, American culture moved to this win-at-all-cost perspective towards sports. And in that win-at-all-cost, it stopped serving youth, participants, families, our communities, and our country. Okay, look, look, listen to me here. There are two types of people in this world. Two types of people in this world. There are winners and there are losers. And just to be clear, our goal, every time we step on this field, our goal is to be a winner. I think we've kind of all fallen asleep at the wheel. I think we've we get up and we go through the motions every day and we've lost sight of the true purpose of what sport really is. And that is the purpose in an educational setting. Listen, you keep your head in the game. You keep your head in the game. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're standing around moping. You don't get your head in the game. You're going to sit here the rest of the game. Every young person in America is under so much pressure. And I think all these young people are in desperate need for some kind of mentor, some kind of adult, to look them in the eye and just affirm their value, their worth, their human potential. When you read a book like Inside Out Coaching and How Sports Can Transform Lives, you connect with the messages that were shared. You connect with the impact that sports has had on your own life. You connect with the real purpose of what sports can be. The potential of what we can give kids through this experience called sports is incredible. But we have to be awake to it. We have to be aware of it. We have to be conscious of it. We have to be intentional about it. You know, the great myth in sports is that sports builds character. That's not true in a win-at-all-cost culture. Sports does not build character unless you as a coach intentionally model and teach it a nurture and development. One of my philosophies which I uh, emphasize and stress with my football team and as a teacher to my students in class is you've got to contribute to the big picture, to the society. You can't just take all the time. You've got to bring something to the table. Like you can't take, take, take. And part of it is got to go out of your way to do something for the people less fortunate, the people who are getting bullied, the people that aren't as good as you. You know, that's, that's another responsibility that you owe to society. What we've created is a, it's what we're calling the inside out system. And it's a blueprint for systemic change. It's a way of looking at sports a little differently from, we can't hang our coaches out there anymore. The pressure of the culture has gotten too great for our coaches to stand alone. And so we're looking at this systemic model, awareness, alignment, action, and then it's accountability. How are the systems in place to hold our communities accountable to that transformative experience for our kids? 
Being a transformational coach to me is meaning that we are creating a mentorship to our players. We are trying to be supportive of our players and it's not all about us as coaches and what we want, but it's really developing, mentoring them and making them grow so that they love the sport, but also taking these skills to their outside lives and you know, becoming better people because of it. The goal is to win. Every day we're going to show up, we're going to play, plan and prepare to win. But that is not the purpose. The purpose is the human growth and development of the students who participate in our programs. It is connecting them to caring adults in their academic community and sticking them to their school community. If we aren't aware of that purpose, and if our goals are not in alignment with that purpose, winning becomes the purpose of our programs. Every day your child competes and practices their games you must remind them that their goal is to prepare well to win, but that their purpose is of a higher order, and that's to be a better teammate, a part of something bigger than themselves, and that leads to being a better person. Your child must see that their goals have to be aligned with their life's purpose. In every conversation you have with them, and after each sporting activity, make them accountable to their purpose. Their actions on and off the field have to reflect that purpose. Sports provides coaches with endless opportunities to take advantage of teachable moments, to hold students accountable to a set of expectations. If the value is only defined by the scoreboard, then coaches are going to overlook those teachable moments. They're going to overlook the opportunities to hold students accountable because their livelihood or their value is defined by whether or not they win the game. Inside Out Coaching is what the truly great coaches have been doing before it was even identified. They are the coaches who put the athlete first, seeking to help that athlete acquire skills that will help them be better people, to see a community that is bigger than their needs and wants, and that helps them be a better person than they were the day before. They are about the human development of the student first and athlete second. What we want to do is create a tipping point in every state where the social, emotional, moral, ethical, and civical development of young people is no longer considered outside the realms of sports and coaching. We want to make sure that sports becomes this tool to elevate the human spirit of every student athlete to reach the highest version of themselves. You've got to believe in the inherent value, worth, and the human potential of every one of your players. You're not creating better athletes. You're creating better citizens creating contributors to our society and our community. You're creating better moms, better dads, better husbands, better wives, a better human beings. I think teams can win based on character if we as a culture define character as the value that comes through sport. Every administrator has this incredible opportunity to create a department create a cadre of coaches that are going to go out and not only impact that school culture, but are going to impact young people for a lifetime. We have to broaden our scope of how we define success in this culture. Success is about, are we equipping kids with the skills that they are going to need to be successful beyond the game in life? Participation in high school sports and activities is a journey where many of us learned our life skills. We need to make sure that our sports offerings are all about intentionally using sports to teach students how to become caring, concerned community leaders. Sports provide the classroom for students to win with grace, lose with dignity, and how to work together for a cause greater than themselves. Sports offer a laboratory for students to learn how to take care of each other, to represent their schools and communities as a positive role model. As adults, we must work to ensure that our student athletes leave high school understanding the value of hard work and that dedication does pay off. They need to know that working as a team can get so much more accomplished than they could ever imagine. Join us in this journey that sports provide to help our high school students transform into positive, productive leaders of tomorrow. School board members, talk with your principals and athletic directors about the culture of your athletics and activities programs and ask this question, how are they transforming students' lives? We all have a stake in this endeavor, and thank you.